In these days of Elijah, the word of God is resounding. You can hear him call your name, for he is the escalator of our passion, the arising fervency of love, and the arising refiner's fire of all impassioned zeal. Uh, praise him now and forever, because humanity shall become like this butterfly, and we shall morph, and we shall become a kingdom age, a thousand years of peace on earth. It is possible. The Lord has made a way through prophecy. And know that uh, he is alone, the exalted Lord of love, the magnified power of peace and our ageless living hope. For there has never been another who has been our illustrious beloved, the magnificent magnificence and the grandness of all that is goodness. So let the wise shine like the stars and let the wise see that love is like any other luxury that we have no right to unless we can see that we cannot afford to live without it. For real, real love is like a pilgrimage, but it really only happens that we can safely get there when we've had no other motives or strategy other than love alone. And only by understanding this will we come to see that there has never been divine love of any way, shape, or form that has ever been conditional. And that is the truest truth. For God says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity, and I will never remember it. So praise God that in this hour, that is exactly what is happening. So clap your hands, all ye nations. Shout to our Lord God with cries, great overflowing with joy. For our Lord most high is most awesome. He is the King of kings, majesty of majesties over all the earth. Celebrate this day, that hero of heroes because he, he needs to be irresistibly desired. For God has ascended now amidst great shouts of joy, and the Lord's voice is resounding by his trumpet. And the seventh trumpet sounded first, and the first is last, and the last is first. And the mystery of God is therefore over, and all nations have become the Lord's. Revelation 10, 7. So it's time to sing praises unto the Lord and sing praises evermore unto our eternal King, uh, for he is the King of the earth, and it, all must sing psalms of praise unto him, because as we lift him up, the our hearts become filled with his love. And it's time to, to, to repent of any and all lovelessness. And know that because he is our sun shining for us, that's the, going to destroy all the gross darkness of all spiritual racism and bigotry here on planet Earth. Because his rays of beauty will lift us all up and his light will dismiss all darkness from off of our faces. And our eyes uh, will see his holy day. Ears will hear his truth and the thought of knowledge sent by heaven by by the great fire of his love uh, we will in, enjoy and we will delight within his word and we will put away the ways of error and beat the sword into the sickle as it is foretold and we shall not see through a glass darkly no more but we shall shine as the stars that we have been fearfully, wonderfully created to be. So it's time to receive the inheritance of his salvation abundantly so that the hearts of the fathers can turn to the children and children to the fathers. I am Elijah. And according to his overflowing generosity that he's given to us and according to his most excellent beauty, he's made us all so we can all put on immortality in his name of love and we can take off the corruption of all unloving ways by his unending grace. Death has been destroyed before our faces, and Sheol has been vanquished by his word. These are the days of Daniel 12, one Michael has subdued and beaten that uh, banished foe. And eternal life has now arisen in the Lord's land, 
and it has been declared unto his faithful ones, and it has been given without limit unto all trusting in him. Hallelujah evermore unto the Lamb of God, for he alone is the risen good shepherd over all the flocks of man, just as he prayed for in Gethsemane, just as he said in John 10. So praise God and all those opposing him. He will take, God says in Malachi 2, he'll take a, from our feasts that have gone rotten. He'll take a shit pie and he's going to smush it in some faces of people that will not exalt him and his love and his glory and his honor forever and ever.